असलम वेलकम बैक टू डॉक्टर तारक अरवई के टूडे आवर टॉपिक अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द हुमैन आई एज वी नो हुमैन आई कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू पार्ट्स आउटर पार्ट एंड इनर पार्ट आउटर पार्ट नाउन एज द एक्सटर्नल हुमैन आई एंड इंटर पार्ट नाउन एज द इंटरनल आई बट आवर टूडे टॉपिक इज अबाउट द इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द हुमैन आई सो बी कनेक्टेड एंड बी कंसनट्रेटेड लेट स्टार्ट आवर टूडे टॉपिक अबाउट इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ हुमैन आई यू कैन सी द ग्लोब आर इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ हुमैन आई दिस इज द ग्लोब शेप आर सफेरिकल शेप आर बाल शेप इट इज अ मस्कुलर बाल दैट फिट इन द सॉकेट नाउन एज द आर्बिटल केविटी आर आर्बिट लेट स्टार्ट अबाउट ऑफथर्मोलॉजी आर स्टडी ऑफ द आई ऑफथर्मोलॉजी बेसिकली इज अ ब्रांच of medicine and surgery branch of medicine and surgery that deals with the anatomy physiology and the pathology of the eye and orbit who known as the patholo- ophthalmologist or specialist about eye a person or a doctor who is special specialist in the medical and surgical disorders आर पैथोलॉजी ऑफ द हुमैन आई वट इज आर्बिट आर्बिट बेसिकली इज अ बोनी साकेट वेयर आई इज फिक्सड वेयर आई इज प्रजेंट आई बॉल इज प्रजेंट इन द आर्बिट आर्बिट बेसिकली इज बोनी प्रोटेक्टिव साकेट वट इज आर्बिटल कैविटी आर्बिटल कैविटी बेसिकली इज अ बोनी साकेट फॉर द ग्लोब ऑफ द हुमैन आई इट प्रोटेक्ट द हुमैन आई एंड इट कम्पोज ऑफ द ऑप्टिक नर्व इन इट एंड द अकुलर मसल्स आल्सो सराउंड इट एंड ब्लड वेल्सल्स नर्व एंड लेक्रीमल ग्लैंड एंड फेटी टिश्यू प्रजेंट अराउंड बोनी कैविटी नॉन एज द आर्बिटल कैविटी द बोन्स दैट मेक द आर्बिट आर आर्बिटल कैविटी देर आर सेवन बोन्स ऑफ द स्कल दैट मेक द आर्बिटल कैविटी आर आर्बिट फ्रंटल बोन जेगोमेटिक बोन मैगजिला आर मैगजेट बोन एंड एथोमेड बोन सफिनाइड बोन लेक्रीमल एंड द पैलेटिन बोन हो हुमैन आई ग्रोन अप इन न्यू बोन एवरेज The human eyeball or eye globe is about eighteen millimeter in diameter, from anterior side to posterior side, from from front side to back side. But in adult, it grows up till twenty three, twenty four to twenty five millimeter. If less than twenty three, it is disorders. If it is tw- more than twenty five, it also included in the pathological conditions weight of was the human eye human eye is about 7.5 g to 8 g in adult orbit or socket orbit or socket basically is a protective cone shaped bony cavity for the eyeball it also enlarged as the eye grows about eyeball what are the layers or uh, structures that make the eyeball there are three layers outer middle and the innermost outer layer also known as the protective layer it is consist of two parts anterior and posterior anterior the anterior opaque part known as the cornea cornea is about is one six part and the posterior white part known as the sclera it is about five out of 6 what is the middle layer of the eye middle layer also known as the vascular layer because it is the rich of the vascular vascular tissue blood vessels nerves and the veins arteries it is also known as the nutrient layer also known as uvea or uveal tract all name given to the middle layer middle layer consists of three parts coroid ciliary body and the iris coroid is the 
posterior thick part ciliary body and rear thick part and the iris is the diaphragmatic hole from light passes towards the lens in the most layer are the third layer also known as the sensory layer are retina retina consists of two layers one is a pigmented layer and other is a neuronal layer pigmented layer don't have rods and cones it continues choroid to the iris it ends at the iris you can see the image that reveals the whole structure of the human eye see from outer layer this is cornea sclera see the iris pupil lens ciliary body ciliary muscle conjunctiva vitreous body and also you can see the blood vessels in the retina macula optic nerve what is the neural layer of the retina neural layer consists of the rod cell and the cone cell these are sensory cells that sense the light and they are not extended tell the cell body they end behind the cell body what are the lens lens present behind the iris it attached to the cell body by the suspensory ligament this suspensory ligament function to fix the lens in its position what is vitreous homer the vitreous body vitreous body present behind the lens aqueous humor aqueous humor is a fluid that present area between the cornea and the iris about sclera sclera basically is a tough white outer coating of the fibrous tissue and it covers entire eyeball except for the cornea where is cornea the sclera is absent muscle that move the eyeball they are attached to the sclera sclera is a greek word known as the hard part cornea cornea is a transparent dome shaped tissue it make the front part of the eye its function as a window through light enter to the interior it is avascular it don't have any blood vessels it contains nerve endings that make it extremely sense sensitive for the light central cornea is thinner 0 to 6 mm and the peripheral cornea is more thicker it is about 8 to 10 mm its horizontal diameter is about 11.5 mm and the vertical diameter is about the 10.5 mm its refractive force is about 40 diopter layers of the cornea there are five layers of cornea the epithelium layer with basement membrane second is the bowman layer stroma are the substantia propria of the cornea fourth is the dismet membrane and the fifth is the corneal endothelium these layers are arranged outer to inner layer two category of the sclera thinnest sclera and the thickest sclera the thinnest is about 0.3 mm behind insertion of the rectus muscles and the thickest sclera is about 1 mm posterior to the posterior pole around optic nerve sclera is, is a avascular because only is superficial apri sclera layer that have vascular plexus what is uveal tract uveal tract is a vascular part of the human eye as we already have learned it consists of the iris choroid and the ciliary body 
air is the most interior part of the uvula tract it made up blood vessels and connective tissue melanocytes pigment there are pigment cells and they give color pupil pupil basically hole in the center of the iris the size of the pupil change by the movement of the iris or according to conditions in sympathetic and parasympathetic its size decrease and increase iris diaphragm it subdivide anterior segment into anterior and the posterior chamber there the iris diaphragm divides the anterior part of the iris into anterior chamber and the posterior chamber you can see the real time image of the human eye again this is the anterior view the the in center black part the, that and the surrounding parts sclera pupil and iris what is ciliary body ciliary body basically is a muscular layer it com its function about accommodation and aqueous humor function accommodation basically is the visual field function and aqueous humor is protect eye from the pathogens that cause diseases it's antimicrobial it composed of two parts cell body parts plana and parts plegeta parts plana is a vascular and smooth pigmented zone at about 4 mm in width other part is pars plegeta it is literally vascularized the pars plana is a vascularized but the pars plegeta is vascularized it consists of 70 radial folds of the cell process that produce aqueous humor choroid choroid is a middle tunic of the eyeball it is bounded on interior by the brooks membrane it is highly vascularized it consists of three layers first is the coro capillaries is the innermost layer from inner to outer inner layer is the coro capillaries the middle layer is small vessels present and the outer layer is large blood vessels are also present coroid function is to regulate temperature it supplies nourishment to the lamina and if you know the basal laminal of the retinal pigment pigment cone cells and the rod cells what is macula macula or uh, macula luteo is latin word which means spot it is yellow it is oval shaped pigmented yellow spot it present near the center of the retina its diameter is about 6 mm it has two, two or more layers of the ganglia on cells near the uh, center of the macula is present fovea it is small pit or small hole it contains largest concentration of the cone cells in the center of the macula present a large number of the cone cells that hold known as the fovea what are rods rod is known as the sensory cells rods sense the black and white and they work in the low light they are sensory cells rods work in the low light and they sense only black and white light cones cones are sensory cells that sense color and in work in the more light three kinds of the cones are present l cones m cones and the s cones l cones they sense the long wavelength l mean long they sense the long wavelength in the red range other is the 
एम कोन्स इन द आर मिडल कोन्स दे सेंस वेवलेंथ ऑफ द मिडल रेंज ऑफ द ग्रीन रेंज एंड अदर इज एस कोन्स आर द शार्ट वेवलेंथ कोन्स दे ऑनली सेंस द बिल्यू रेंज रॉड कोन्स सेंड मैसेज टू द ब्रेन थ्रू द ऑप्टिक नर्व ऑप्टिक नर्व टेक मैसेज फ्रॉम रॉड कोन्स एंड पुट इट टू द ब्रेन एंड इट सेंस टू द ब्रेन ब्रेन मेक्स इट्स रिस्पॉन्स बाय सेंडिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन